instead of having like a lot of the Sunday recess that I see um, on YouTube, I wanted to do like a Sunday routine prepping for the upcoming week. When I tell y'all, I went through a lot trying to get this video together. I used Shotcut and it was all over the place, but it worked out. So, um, first things first, when I get up, I just, I like to give thanks. Before I even step my foot on the ground, I like to just um, give thanks. I write out different affirmations and things like that that I thought of myself, and I recite them out loud quietly but out loud for me it just uh, makes me feel closer to the universe and, and more heard if you will um, I know a lot of people have different routines that they do in the morning and of course this is just my routine just in case anybody has like a more simplistic routine I've been seeing a lot of channels where they really do a lot on Sundays and Sundays in, in the house is, is fairly chill um, once I am up and I do the things that I need to do um, when I get up in the morning, I do like to open up the blinds and open up the windows. I got crank windows currently. I haven't decided what type of windows that I want, but they're definitely going to be getting switched out. So I get a lot of sunlight in this room, and I really, really love the amount of sunlight that comes in. So that's a good thing. Normally on Sundays, um, if nobody makes breakfast, breakfast will be bought and also um, my mom will tend to put out the things for Sunday dinner but I really want some tea like I really wanted some tea because I was having allergies this is my first time I'm um, actually making one of these videos that's Roxy I'm a puppy um, this is my first time making one of these videos. I really kind of wanted to just try it out just to see how things um, would work and just to see if I even really could do it. Um, I always see people um, Sunday resets and they are very different from my Sunday um, routine. So I just wanted to, again, show you guys mine. So as you can see, uh, my mom's going to be making chicken and mac and cheese and with a veggie as usual. I'm sure she'll add veggie. She adds veggies to everything, of course. So, um, like I told you guys in the other video, I use peppermint and mully, and those are my two favorite herbs. And I like to put them in my little strainer, and I'll make some tea from the curry. What's so crazy is with this um, strainer thing, it doesn't matter how much I scrub the middle part. I can get the sides clean, like the sides crystal clean like they were before, but that middle part is staying from the tea. It's a different type of material from the sides, which is weird. So nobody made breakfast, so my dad ended up um, buying Dunkin' Donuts for everybody. So I used to get sausage, egg, and cheese, but I now kind of switched to bacon because the sausage tastes different. Maybe it's just me. Um, so I was just, you know, wanted to make sure all of them was the same before I picked one. So yeah, they were all bacon, egg, and cheese. I'm not really a donut in the morning type of person, but he um, always makes sure that he gets donuts because um, my son and my brother likes donuts a lot. So yeah, so I I kept telling myself like yesterday, because it's Monday now, um, I kept telling myself yesterday that I was going to get the video out, and when I tell you Shot Cut was taking me through it was absolutely taking me through it but like I said I, I made it work and I'm very happy that I was able to figure out a way to do the uh, voiceover so I like to get my little work area prepped I recently moved my laptop from the tape from the couch to the um, desk area um, as a lot of you may not know, I'm most comfortable in nothing, so I do have bottoms on, you know, don't don't let your mind wander too much, but I do like to be comfortable when I am um, being productive in my room. So the one of the first things that I do um, to start everything off is I like to go turn my computer on, of course, and then I like to go and check my emails. A lot of times it's junk, and because of that, I like to go ahead and get rid of those junk emails because it will fill up your email really, really quickly. This candle, y'all, my mom got this candle for me a while ago for Mother's Day, and I, I always keep like a, a plethora of candles, so I'm just getting around to it. This is, it's called Tiki Beach, but it, it says on there that it's uh, made with um, essential natural oils, and it is very natural because it don't smell like anything. Um, it, it, 
it did give me a more calming type vibe so maybe that's mostly what it was used for but it was not aromatic in my opinion at all i know i was having a little bit of a sinus issue in the morning um but yeah mm -mm. it didn't it, it wasn't it didn't smell like anything like I thought it was going to smell. So I've let my tea steep for a little bit. Uh, maybe about 10 minutes or so have passed. And as you can see, the color is very different from how it looked um, when it was still sitting in the Keurig. So yeah, I used to hook the little latch thing going on the side. Y'all want to see how dark it is? so much more darker that that definitely lets me know it's nice and saturated in the water if you will um i used to bend the little handle part all the way down and the whole thing would go into the tea i think that's what my issues begin with the discoloration y'all so how about my brother he made a a like a pamphlet to show us or to teach us like things that we need to do when the dog does certain things like he goes so hard for her and I love it because she is super duper spoiled and I love to see it we got her from um, a shelter so I'm really happy that she was able to come here and be spoiled the way that she deserves to plenty of toys plenty of snacks plenty of everything so it's just it's wonderful that she gets to live a better life than she did before so when I tell y'all, a lot of times I will keep my hair up all day, but I like to take it down now so my edges don't sweat out. I've been feeling really um, drained, so I did start back taking my iron pills. So I'm taking one a day. Now when I was pregnant, my iron was super low, and I had to take three pills a day for like seven months while I was pregnant, and I felt so much better. Um, it seems like the anemia go comes and goes which is that's weird um so yeah that's that i like to use canva for my shorts in case anybody was wondering you can use canva for a lot of different things so this is just me um basically giving like a little mini tutorial on how you could use canva um to find the thumbnail i literally just put in like youtube shorts and it or instagram reels and they literally the same size I, I tested them out so i put it in and then they give you like a bunch of templates i was using pictures that i got from pexels as well as pictures that i had got from um canva but they were getting copyright claims and even though they were saying that it doesn't affect your channel i just don't like seeing a copyright claim so i decided to just do something where uh, where the the shorts would become a little bit more cohesive so once you type everything out i also use the audio i have the pro version which is 12.99 a month i would recommend it if you do use canva a lot i use canva for my thumbnails and everything so I go into the audio and sometimes I put in smooth jazz or R&B or hip hop. And so the good thing about it is once you find your music, wherever your cursor is, when you click on that sound, it's going to go directly to that cursor, um, to that cursor mark for that particular short. So they give you a little bit of editing space. So like you can go to... Um, the adjuster and you can move and switch to like what part of the sound you want it to go to like the audio effects so once you click audio effects you can kind of like glide it so that it doesn't have to start at the beginning if you don't want it to and then with adjust i just like to do a three second fade in and a three second fade out then once that's done i just like to go and play everything back just to make sure it sounds great so yeah, you guys, this is my Sunday routine. This is something that I'm going to be implementing um, every Sunday into my routine. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. So have a wonderful Monday now. And I hope you enjoyed my Sunday routine.